Good day, my dear students. I am Sarvil, and today we will have another lesson. Are you excited? I'm sure you are. Our topic is all about electrical signs, symbols, and data. But before that, let us start our class with a prayer. Let's put ourselves in the presence of the Lord. Let's pray. Please bow your heads and let us pray. Dear Jesus, please show me how to spend this day sharing your love in every way. Help me to be kind to everyone, to play and love and have lots of fun, shining your light and giving your grace, sharing your joy with a smile on my face. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Before you settle down, make sure that your area is already clean and organized, so there will be no distractions. Alright, may I request our secretary to please check the attendance? Thank you. Now this time, I want you to follow our rules in our session. So please watch this. Online Etiquette 101 Rule number one. Please turn off your microphone unless I will tell you to turn it on. You may or may not show yourself during the session. Rule number two. Questions and clarifications will be entertained after the talk. You may turn on your microphone or you may use the chat box. Rule number three. Treat everyone how you would like to be treated. And rule number four. Have fun and always keep an open mind. This is your teacher, Sir Bill, and let's all be excited to learn. The objectives in this lesson are the following. First, identify electrical signs, symbols, and data. Next, differentiate pictorial and schematic diagrams. And the last one, appreciate the importance of learning electrical signs symbols, and data. Alright, now let's have a review. Can you still remember our topic last meeting? Yes, John? Very good. Our topic last meeting was about carrying out measurements and calculations. In this topic, you learn about the difference between English and metric system. To assess your learning last meeting, I will be asking two questions. Are you ready? Alright, I think you're ready. Question number one. How many inches in one foot? I will give you five seconds to answer. Ready? Five, four, three, two, and one. So, what do you think is the answer? Who knows the answer? Go ahead, Mary. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. The answer is 12. There are 12 inches in one foot. Question number two. How many centimeters in an inch? Again, how many centimeters in an inch? Five, four, three, two, and one. Alright, so the correct answer is yes, 2.54. Very good, Keith. Now, I'm glad that you learned our lesson last time. Now, before I discuss the topic, we will have a game first. Are you excited? Okay, so our activity is called Maze Game. For this game, you will just identify the correct letter from the given choices. Now, let me read the problem first. Here's the problem. The little brother of David, namely John, is playing with an electrical outlet in their garage. Now, he could probably get hurt with this. 
Now help David to stop his little brother from getting hurt by solving this maze. Which of the following choices would lead David to his brother? Now here's the example. You are given 15 seconds to solve the given problem. Ready? Timer starts now. 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 Okay, so time's up. What's your answer? Is it letter A, B, or C? You're right. It's letter B. And because of that, everyone will be given 5 points. Congratulations! Let's learn about electrical symbols. Do you have any idea about this? Alright, there are different symbols that are being used in the field of electricity. But for today, I will just explain the commonly used ones. The first example is cell. Before explaining it, can you guess which one is the subject in the sentence? Is it cell, electrodes, in, or used? Very good. The subject in a sentence is the word cell. So when we say cell, it is a device containing electrodes immersed in an electrolyte and is used for generating current or for electrolysis. This thing is capable of changing some form of energy, such as chemical or radiant energy, into electricity. An example of a cell that we usually use is battery. But our battery is composed of many cells depending on its voltage. Alright, next we have switch. But before that, can you identify the conjunction in a sentence? Is it device, for, breaking, or connection? Yes, Missy? The answer is for. Very good, Missy. Let's go back. When we say switch, this is a device for making and breaking the connection in an electrical circuit. This is the thing that we usually use when we turn on or off a device, especially in our house. For instance, the light bulb. And that is the symbol. Source. This is a field effect transistor from which carries flow into inter-electrode channel. An example of this is a battery or electrical outlet. The last symbol that will be presented is load. Before that, can you identify the linking verb in the sentence? Is it electrical? Is? Energy? Or other? Excellent! The answer is the word is. So going back to the topic, when we say load, this is a device that consumes electrical energy in the form of the current and transform it into other forms like heat, light, work, and the light. So the examples of load are bulb, electric fan, electric kettle, and more. So let's refresh your knowledge about the two common circuits which are series and parallel. This is an example of a series circuit. A series circuit comprises a path along which the whole current flows through each component. So you can see the pictorial diagram on the left side while on the right side is the schematic diagram. A parallel circuit has branches so the current divides and only part of it flows through any branch. So the pictorial diagram is on the left side while on the right side is the schematic diagram. In a series circuit, all are connected from end to end while in parallel circuit, the components are connected across each other. So did you learn something from our lesson? Alright, that's good to hear. This time, let's have a quick quiz. Can you get a piece of paper? 
and choose the correct answer from the given choices. So here are they. This is a device for making and breaking the connection in an electrical circuit. A. Cell B. Load C. Switch This is a device for making and breaking the connection in an electrical circuit. A. Cell B. Load C. Switch What electrical symbol is this? A source, B cell, C load. What electrical symbol is this? A source, B cell, C load. What type of circuit is presented on the board? A series, B parallel, C series parallel. What type of circuit is presented on the board? A series, B parallel, C series parallel. Congratulations for the perfect scores, my dear students. Now, from your group, I want one representative to answer some questions, okay? So here's my first question for group number one. How does learning electrical signs and symbols help you when dealing with electrical works? Mm -hmm. Only one representative? That's right! It is important to learn about electrical symbols so we will be familiar about their uses. By learning this, we could also avoid some mistakes when we label the following devices. Thus, we can prevent untoward accidents. Very good. For group 2, what was the difficult part of the lesson? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The difficult part of the lesson for Joanne is identifying the difference between series and parallel circuit. Okay, so I hope you learned from it. Group 3, what have you learned today that you would think would be beneficial to you in the future? Yes, as per Michael, he said that it would help him to be acquainted with knowledge about electrical symbols. Mm -hmm. So what job would you want to have in the future, Michael? Oh, so you want to become an electrical engineer. Awesome! Alright, now let's have an assessment or a short activity. So using these images, I want you to create pictorial and schematic diagrams. You must choose the right examples so your diagram would work. The link of the assessment as well as the criteria in grading the output is posted in our chat box. You will answer them using our learning management system portal. You are given 10 minutes to answer the activity. Your time starts now. For your assignment, I want you to identify some electrical signs from a workplace. Thank you so much, and let me end this session with a saying from Aristotle, The roots of education is bitter, but the fruit is sweet. Have a great day, my students. Bye!